Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a challenge. Um, there's a video, or videos going around of people doing their makeup with only their mom's makeup. So, I have my mom's makeup right here. Literally. Compared to what I have, like, she only has two eyeshadow palettes that are like, this help and she's got like two mascaras she's got like a foundation and a BB cream lash curler so not a lot so what I'm gonna do and I have her mirror right here and then let's take off my makeup that I already have on I'm using her makeup wipes I am dreading using these because I always use these, the Neutrogena makeup wipes, because they are so sensitive on my skin and everything. So, I'm really hoping that this does not make my skin really, like, red. So, let's go ahead and take off my makeup. This video might be a little bit longer. I'm not really sure. So, where did the... As you can see, like, it has, like... Then I unfolded it, it was like bubbles. It's where my stuff went, brightness went down. Okay. So I'm not wearing much makeup to begin with, but I drew this huge zit right here. Like bothering me. And you seem to be coming off. Pretty good. And I'll see how well it takes off my mascara. Because I have like three mascaras on right now. I have my Lash Power Extension Visible Mascara from the brand. What brand is this actually? I got it off of the Wish F like a dollar. But I absolutely like freaking love it. Me Now Generation 2, I think. Oh yeah, I can feel it burning. I swear, it's every time. Every time. This is why I can't record on my phone. Because of this, where'd it go? Because of this little thing. I can't do anything about it. Um. To prop you guys up somehow. I'll just push this back on there, I guess. Because you guys can see my makeup. It's made my mom's. You guys can see that. Down there. So I cannot use any of my makeup. I have to use her makeup. Make sure this is stuck on. There. Stay. It's already happened once in a video. That I tried to post. So apparently YouTube crashed. I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded. Because I'm still trying to upload the 3-in-1 Maybelline. Yeah, the 3-in-1 Maybelline review on the Dream Cushion Foundation. The Master Fix uh, Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. And the... Here it is. The uh, Total Temptation uh, Brow Definer. So... See how well this takes off my mascara. Well, you can kind of like see it. See the black spots. That's where my mascara was being taken off from originally. Let's see. Horrible. Like, look at. I will make this work, and there will be no editing in this video either because. I still can't figure out everything. I need to get my new camera. Do you see that? Oh my god. It's like not helping. I'll see how well it takes off my eyebrows. 
Yeah, you can definitely tell the difference between my eyebrows. Okay. Let's get this other eye off. I'm not really wearing too much makeup because when I went out today, I only put on this. It's like a skin, universal skin tint. So it gave me a little bit of like coloration in my face, but not too much. I'm like literally like scrubbing at my eyelashes right now. There's like a bunch of fallout like underneath of my eyes and everything. <laughs> Take it off my eyebrows really well. It's the only thing I like about it. Flip it over. Take off the rest with it. Anything loose. Okay. I think I got everything off. We can see if like making my face or what time is it actually? I don't know because my phone. Let me check. Here we go. It is. Make sure you have an hour. My sister. And that's another thing. Like between like November and like now. I have gotten my pregnant. I'm finally adulting. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm gonna be 19 this year. The talent show is next week as well. Help. Send help. Okay, that's that. It's definitely making my face red. So now, take headband back my skin and I don't know but I said did I say push back my skin I meant push back my hair my hair looks so good today it was ruined because I dripped some of my green juice in my hair and it's like all sticky now and I hate it so I don't know how she applies this but she's got this what is this one of these things the only brush she uses is like is this blending brush. I couldn't even I can't even tell you what it what brand it is anyway. It's got this it's like that. But it's a really, really fluffy brush. She does not clean this either. Even though I've taught her how to clean it. I've noticed I'm using baby soap. Now cleans my brushes really well rather than using oil and dish soap. So I use baby soap on my brushes and sponges now. Definitely going to make my face break out. Okay. She doesn't do anything to her brows either. So I don't know how I'm going to do my brows. Am I not what color are her mascaras? I think they're both black. Black and very black. Well, that's great. That helps me out a ton. Are these my... I finally found where my pointy tweezers are. These were supposed to be for my eyelashes. Mm. Honey, no. Those are mine. And she's got these little eyeshadow applicators. These are the devil. These are a freaking Satan. Who in the world uses these anymore? And then my mom's old. Oh, no way. You're kidding. Look. There's even a cushion anymore. That's gonna like cut my eyelashes off. Cushion even in here? No. Let's see if I put a bobby pin in here. What? Mama, I gotta help you. 
Okay, so instead of using these eyelash curls, which I think, let me see if they'll cut my eyelashes off. They want to, you guys seeing this? They slip right out. Mama, I gotta get, I need to, I, I gotta get you some help. Different the beauty master. That's going up there. So I'm just gonna use my eyelash curl that I got from my birth box for that. Um, I think I'm gonna have to use my fingers. This BB cream has pomegranate extract in it. I don't even know if it's gonna match me. Cause this is in light medium sheer tint. So I think I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use this as my foundation or BB cream, whatever. And then I'm gonna use this as concealer. Cause this is the CoverGirl Clean, Clean Sensitive Liquid Foundation. I never really use liquid foundations like this. And like a pour jar or whatever. And it is in the color 540 Natural Beige. Which doesn't match my skin. And then she has these, or this, uh, Pond's Anti-Wrinkle Cream. Visibly reduces wrinkles in two weeks. She has used this. So I'm going to go ahead and use this as a under eye primer. If that's even a thing. So, and my mom does use primers. I did make her a, um eyeshadow primer before and it's one that I like swear by that I make on my own it is really really good um I'll just put this from my face and my teeth on and everything okay it was that so she does not use a sponge or a brush pray for me <laughs> Just pray for me. Oh, jeez. No, honey, no. <laughs> Look how direct that is. We're like the same skin tone. I gotta help her. Mom. I think she uses her fingers to rub everything in. Which I absolutely hate. Because your fingers have more oil and just like stuff on them. Rather than just using a sponge. I want to reach for my sponge so badly right now but I can't. She has like no setting powder either. Oh shit, what am I gonna do for setting powder? She doesn't use setting powder at all. I hate this so much. This is the way she applies it, I think. She doesn't have a sponge or nothing. Oh, honey, no. Honey, no. I mean, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I used to play with her makeup all the time when I was little too. You know what? I'm going to take my 180. I think it is a 185. Yes, my 185 complexion brush, just to help it out a little bit. I need to get her set on brushes. I need to take her makeup shopping at some point. Because. Using her, look at that oil. Look at how oily that is. The fingers. That's not good. Okay. So now. Where is it? Here it is. I want you to take this brush here for the other foundation, which is going to be my concealer. Help. So you're going to come out? Hello? 
There we go. It's a little bit. I don't want too much. Oh my god. Stop. This is like burning my face. And this is why we call it my finger now. Oh, that is too liquidy for this. Not bad. But I think I am going to use this I have to because if I don't this everything's gonna slip and slide like everywhere why am I even trying to highlight with this this doesn't even work as a highlighter it's not even the right color I do have light shades hopefully I can try to contour with this shade here if it's not too sparkly don't think it is because the only other option that I have is use this but I'm not gonna have a green or black contour so, and she has nothing to use her brows with either, which I think we're going to use a dark shade right here to do my brows with. So hopefully, everything turns out good. Blend everything else in. Make everything nice and smooth. So I can get it. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Master Fix uh, setting powder. And in my round brush, take a little bit of it. Just it all over my face. So this should help some of the shininess with the BB cream. Just lay on your eyes. I think I'm gonna use more of that, more of this for my eyeshadow primer. Okay, so that seems to be good. Now what I'm gonna do, it's time to contour and highlight. Help. So, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take this brush that she has, I'm gonna dip it into the dark shadow. Hoping to God it's not sparkly. Tenley, no. Oh, God. It is kind of sparkly, but it's not horribly sparkly. That that's done. Somewhat of it. I'm gonna take a little bit bigger brush. Like this and go in and do my contour. Honey, no, no. <laughs> that that kill me. Like. 
It is way too dark for me. Oh well, let's just blend it. It's an eyeshadow anyway, so. That doesn't look too bad. The camera might look a little darker right here, but. Hello, Siren. Okay, here's my contour. She doesn't wear blush. So I'm not gonna do blush. Yeah, there's no pink in any of her makeup. All right, so I'm gonna take this shade that's in here. Does it have a little mirror on it? No. Now I'm going to take my highlighting brush, I'm going to take it on a small angled brush, take this highlighting color, what I'm going to do, spritz it with my dewy mist, twice, so I can add a little bit more definition. No. No. On camera, it doesn't look too bad, but like, it looks gold. Like, how does this champagne? Oh, I see. There is gold in it. I'll try the other one. I need blush. Where's my blush at? I'll do like a subtle blush so it does not smell too bad. Um, angle blush. Not too bad. Okay. That works. That works. So get some on brush like this. Put it with water till it's damp, and then it's not bad at all for an eyeshadow. off the brush so I'm gonna go in with I don't know what it's called I'm just gonna blend that in buff it in make it look better that doesn't look too bad aside from the sparkly contour <laughs> oh, so I needed a contour and highlight but I need to get her blush I need to get her better I need to get her a beauty blender Okay, so that seems to be all 
blend it in and I'm going to take the same color to run it down my nose on a dry brush. Cupid's bow, chin, this subtle highlight. So much for subtle. And the nose contour a little bit more. Okay. Now for the eyes. I think I'm just going to go and stick with these three shadows right here instead of the black. I'm afraid of the black. She uses sponges for this and then this blending brush right here so I'm gonna do what she does help okay I need a clean one okay take this applicator right here I'm gonna take it all across my lid right here highlight my brow bone with it and then I'm gonna go in and do my brows once this is done Highlight is not too, too bad, but it's not what I like. Okay, I did do my brows. Where is my brow pencil or brow brush? Here it is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, get in this color. I hate powder stuff, but this works. Oh, God. No. Oh, it's so light for my skin. My brows. I make this work so much. Say it over, please. Okay. Spoolie it now. It's not too bad, except for the fact that it's like really light. Mixing a little bit of the black and the brown, so hopefully. Maybe that helps a little bit. Okay, now that's done. I'm gonna take the blending brush, take this lighter color right here, and mm, let's say on the back of it, it's cover go one. Put it in my crease. Blend it out like that. Blend it upwards as well. And on my outer corner as well. 